guys, it's your girl Sydney, and today we are going to be doing a Alphalete haul and try on. Before we even get into this, I just want to let you guys know that I have all of the Alphalete clothing like laid out, and I looked at it yesterday and I was like, oh my gosh, this is kind of intimidating because I haven't tried anything on, and I'm going to try it on before I like continue with this video to film the try on clips, and then I'm going to tell you guys what I think. I'm either a 2X or a 1X currently, I am plus size. I'm about 280 pounds currently. I'm 5'9 with a 38 triple D. So for reference, when you're seeing me try these on, those are my personal measurements. My body's pretty proportionate in the sense that like I have a belly, I have boobs, I have butt. So there's not, like I'm not really smaller in a specific area. I'm just big everywhere and I'm curvy. So if you have a body type like mine, hopefully this helps you out. If you have a partner that you're buying things for and you're like, I want to support them in their journey, hopefully this video is helpful. They only have, this is the biggest size that Alpha Elite carries so I'm hoping it fits because I've had such a hard time finding plus size workout clothing since I started my journey again and it really made me realize that like all these big brands don't cater to plus sizes when those are the people that want to change their life a lot of the time and I feel like it was really discouraging trying to find clothes that fit me like even Walmart I had a really hard time finding stuff that like fit me the way I needed it to for workouts hopefully this stuff fits I'm gonna get into this video review it try it on and hopefully um, fingers crossed I love of it. This is an unbiased review. I purchased everything with my own money and I just want to say thank you to Alphalete for at least carrying this size. It's an XXL. I'm normally a 1X, 2X so I'm not going to be like super upset if it doesn't fit but I really hope it does. So with that being said, let's just jump into this video. I love you guys and I will talk to you guys in like five seconds. Hi guys, all right, I'm back, I changed. Now I'm wearing some PJs just to be more comfortable, but I have my review, I have the clothes here, I've tried them on, so as I talk, clips of me wearing clothes that are appropriate will be on the screen. So let's just get into this. So we're gonna start first with the seamless underwear. I got them in the color blue, double X, so two X, L, I guess like XXL that's like what the size is on their site which is the biggest size they fit completely fine they're super soft I'm not a huge seamless fan but they are very soft they don't give me thong burn so I would recommend them um and I think they're fine and perfect for workouts like definitely workout type of underwear next are these bottoms best way to put it these ones in my opinion because I have a belly are not flattering to me because they're so low here if they were like high-waisted they'd be great but the back looks really awesome I think the back is super flat to the booty and if I didn't have a belly and it was mainly just like holding fat in my legs this would look awesome but because of that I don't think I'll be wearing this until I do feel more confident I definitely think that if you have a body type or you're confident in those things and you don't feel insecure then they're great it definitely still fit me it was just not exactly my vibe we have the white camo I think that's what it would be called there's like a specific cut on these for the top you see that how it has that cool cut so flattering and I was actually scared that these were not gonna fit these are awesome these fit they go all the way down to my ankles they're very flattering and they fit really well they actually kind of like fit my butt really well like better than the other ones that I'm gonna show you so these ones are definitely a favorite but I have noticed that because there's this seam right here it doesn't give me like per se because there's not like a seam in the middle but it makes it look like I have so, um, I don't know. I'd be weary about that. I usually don't really struggle with that, but so is the thing. It might have been the seamless underwear. I don't know. They're so flattering to my waist. I do have a little bit of a smaller waist. Like, you can tell I have a waist. And then the sports bra that goes with it, so comfortable. There's pads in it that I'll probably eventually take out when they get bunched up. Then the back has some crisscross. It's very thin straps, low support. This is a XXL and I'm a 38 triple D. So just for reference, this does fit. It's just very low support. Like I would never go running or do anything crazy in this. And I wouldn't even like really bend forward when you're weightlifting. This would be like the perfect bra because it's not too tight. It doesn't cut off circulation. It definitely fits. Looks really cute together as well. This I would rate a 8 out of 10 the likings would probably be an 8.5 out of 10 on to the next we're going to be talking about the other one the hunter green like camo ones there's the bra that's normal looks like this same thing um i tried it on and i really liked it bra's cool 8 out of 10 low support like the other one same thing just different color now i got the short version as well so these are the shorts that are the cool cut in the front and they're definitely camo these are super flattering to my butt you know like they cut my booty really well but i get chafing 
and I have very thick thighs and I definitely think that that would be an issue like long term I don't think that I'd be able to do a like a running or anything I could weight lift maybe when I like lose some weight they fit right now but the chafing would be the problem but I could definitely do house chores in these and feel really comfortable and run errands and stuff I just don't think that I could like run a marathon in them or anything let alone like do Stairmaster or anything like that because of the chafing problem I might change my mind but these ones are definitely like very flattering and comfortable and soft I just don't know how practical they are for me personally and the way that like my issues with chafing go next are these like pink mauve colored biker shorts these ones were honestly like the top part fit really weird but the bottom part and the way that these feel felt really nice so i would definitely use these but i don't know how flattering they are on me you guys can tell me what you think if you think they looked good or bad but the waistband wasn't it was weird it like kind of rolled on me and i don't usually have that problem with alphalete but first biker shorts that i've actually kind of really liked and like wanted to wear and i would definitely work out in this and i would probably just wear like a longer top to cover the top part because this one just like kind of rolls down i don't know i do like them though I would rate them seven and a half out of ten with the rolling down problem without that though I definitely wouldn't have chafing so in the chafing category I would rate these a nine out of ten so I didn't realize where the shirt went it was behind me the entire seven minutes I've already been filming I was like where did this shirt go it was behind me this crop top was super nice good quality long enough covers my fat rolls it's a premium t-shirt I can't remember how much I paid for it but if I paid more than $30 this is not worth it. If I paid under 30, I definitely can get my use out of it. And I think that it's very flattering and like comfortable. But if it was more than 30, cause I can't remember, no go for me. Cause I could go to Walmart and get like five shirts for like $40. Um, this one though, very comfortable, very flattering and very nice material. Next is the hoodie from Alphalete. And this one's in a really pretty green color. I love green and teals and stuff. And this one's awesome. The only thing that I would say I don't like about this is how the sleeves are very wide and like not cinched in so I mean I guess that's maybe because people like push them up it leaves a lot of room but it definitely covers my boobs it covers my fat rolls in the back and like hits me at the perfect part of where my waist is so I think it's very flattering and yeah it definitely fits the inside super soft love that and then I love how simple this is I would rate this an 8 out of 10 now we're gonna get into these two I actually didn't try this blue one on because they're the same and just different colors we got the gray the light gray I think and then and this pretty blue I've actually owned these in the past and I think it was a darker gray that I owned in I either a large or an extra large the fit on these are great the only issue that I've had because I was kind of worried these weren't gonna fit but this part is super flattering I like it but I don't love the back I feel like it's not as flattering to the bum as it used to be or maybe my butt's just like not as nice as it used to be I don't know we're gonna have to test the theory as I continue to wear them but they fit I feel like I could do cardio because it'll stay up like the waistband is great for cardio and lifting and being cute all in one I think these are winners as well I'm glad that they fit keep in mind you guys I'm 280 pounds and 5'9 so I'm just super happy that these fit and made me feel good and like I don't know I did not think these were gonna fit and they did biggest tip I have if you're like trying to try something on scrunch it all the way up to the ankle and put it all the way in and then make sure both sides are so you can like inch it up hopefully that was a good review and helped give you some really good insight as to how this all rocks and rolls i love you guys i appreciate you guys you guys are amazing and hopefully this video was helpful to all the plus size girls out there who are looking for something to help with their health journey and wear because i've had the biggest struggle finding stuff to wear when i'm trying to lose weight and trying to like get fit in the gym because like right now walmart seems to be really sold out of workout clothes everywhere else doesn't really carry my size that I normally would shop at. Gymshark, I'm very disappointed in because they don't have plus sizes. Fabletics, I've had really bad experiences with in the past. So for me, I'm just happy that Alphalete has options for me. Sadly, I'm the biggest size that really can fit, but I'm happy that they at least have something to accommodate people. But just know if you're on your journey too, good luck, have fun with it. And I'm really happy with this stuff. I probably wouldn't order more of these from Alphalete, but I definitely 
definitely would order more of their leggings. Uh, those are like the hardest thing for me to find to fit me. And they do. The low support sports bras, I can find better ones on Amazon. So like I honestly would, if you are prioritizing money and stuff, the leggings are worth it. Everything else you can get on Amazon or other places for a lot less unless they're having a sale. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. I have a ton of other past videos you can check out and um, yeah. Bye.